Okay, so today we're gonna to take a look at Webflow Sync in Outseta. It's just like it sounds. This feature allows you to sync customer data in Outseta to a Webflow CMS collection. Let's dive in and I'll show you how the magic works. So here I am in Outseta. I've just done an import of accounts. We're showing 30 in here. That's perfect. Each account is subscribed to this full access membership. And then also the primary contact for many of these accounts have a custom property called completed lessons, and they've got some completed lessons in there. So that's great. Let's go over to Webflow. So over here, let's take a look at the collections. We've got a members collection. There are no members in it currently, but we have the collection filled out with fields. We've got a profile image, first name, last name, email, and then completed lessons. So this is a multi-reference field that's gonna get populated with the lessons that each member has completed. And they'll have a way of doing that on the site. They'll have a button for each lesson that they can click to mark as completed. And the idea is that when they do that, this multi-reference field gets populated and on their dashboard page, will show a list of the lessons that they've completed. And then we also have a lessons collection, which will be the collection that populates that completed lessons field. Okay, it's time to have some fun. Let's go back over to Outseta. Let's go to settings, integrations, and here's Webflow. So we're gonna connect to our Webflow site. Webflow sync demo is the one we're using. Great, there's the site. Next. So we're always syncing accounts from Outseta. You can't change that, but we can change the collection that we sync to in Webflow. So we're gonna to sync to members, click next. Now we're gonna map our fields. So over in Outseta, let's start with name. So the name of the account is gonna be the name in the members collection. Next, we're gonna find the primary contact first name and map that to the first name field in Webflow. And primary contact, last name. Let's map that to the last name in Webflow. Let's find the email for the primary contact email in Webflow. Let's map the UID. So the account UID in Outseta is just a random string of letters and numbers. We're gonna map that to the slug in Webflow. That's just so that we don't automatically make the slug the name of the account. I think that's a little bit better of an experience so that you don't see your name in the URL. Next, we're going to find the primary contact completed lessons in Outseta. That's a custom property. And then we're gonna map that to completed lessons in Webflow. And you'll see that when we do that, we're now, we now have to choose a reference collection. So that's gonna be lessons. That's the collection that's going to be populating the completed lessons, multi-reference. We're also getting a message that says, you're mapping a field to a Webflow multi-reference field. Great. Uh, it also tells us what format that data should be in. And as we saw before on the person record, the data is already in this JSON array format. So that's great. And the way we're doing that is the button that is being clicked on the site by the user to mark a lesson as complete. We have a little bit of custom code in there that's putting the data into that array format in Outseta. And you can find that mark as complete snippet of code in our documentation. We'll provide a link to that in the description. So one more thing that I forgot, we're going to find the primary contact profile image URL and we're gonna map that to the profile image in Webflow. So that's all of our fields. The last thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna click this checkbox at the bottom. So this is sync Webflow slug to account specific page URL. So what that does is, so we're setting the slug when we do the initial sync, and then that slug is gonna get passed back into Outseta as the account specific page URL so that Outseta knows what page that is. So we're gonna check that. And it also says, you need to make sure that you've enabled account-specific pages in Outseta. 
it's not essential that it's already enabled when you set this up. You can always do it later, and we'll go and check to make sure that's set up. So I'm going to hit next here. We get a message saying the CMS sync has been saved, um, and we have the option to either continue without syncing or to start syncing immediately. So we're going to start syncing. And you'll see that we have indication that syncing is happening. This usually takes about a minute or so. While we're waiting, let's just make sure that we have account-specific pages set up. Let's go to auth, protected content, account-specific pages, and it looks like we're good to go. You also notice that I've specified the name of the folder. This matches up with the name of the folder in Webflow. So dashboard, dashboard. And then we also have send users to their page on login enabled. So we're good here. Let's go back to the Webflow integration and see if it's ready. Yep, it looks like we're all synced. So let's go and take a look. Yeah, it looks like we've got 30 members in Webflow. This is great. If we take a look at some of these, yes, it looks like the data all came in. They have a unique slug. First name, last name, email, completed lessons. If I click through a few of them, you'll see they have all various completed lessons. Some of them have none, some have a few. Great. One thing you'll notice is none of them have a profile image populated. And that's just because that data was not populated in any of those outside of accounts, but that's okay. We're gonna test this out. So let's actually go to the front end of the site and sign up. So we know that this sync works for accounts that are already in Outseta, but what about for new accounts that get created? So let's just sign up. Okay, we created an account. Let's go check for the confirmation email. All right, confirm your account. Set a password. And here we are on our dashboard page. So we're not showing any completed lessons yet. It's just an empty state because we haven't completed any lessons yet. So let's go and do that. Just gonna pretend I completed this lesson. Let's just do a few. Yeah, element hierarchy. Okay, cool. Completed a few lessons. I'm just gonna do one more thing. I'm gonna test the syncing of the profile image. So I'm just gonna grab my fancy new yellow background profile image, drop it in there. And there we go. So we've just made a few updates to the person record in Outseta. We've changed the profile image and we've completed a few lessons. So let's go over to Outseta and see how that's looking. So if I refresh, you can see we've got a profile image and we've got some completed lessons in this custom property. So that's great. We've sent the information to Outseta. Now let's check if Outseta sent it back to Webflow. Just going to refresh. Okay, we've got 31 members in here. There I am. We've got the profile image. We've got those three completed lessons and all of our other data. Now let's make sure that this is displaying on the front end. So I'm going to go back to our dashboard page. And great, you can now see that the profile image is coming in and the three lessons that we completed are now showing up in this collection list. So that's it, we're done. In just about 10 minutes, we set up a sync between customer data and Outseta and a CMS collection in Webflow. If you need any help or have questions, feel free to reach out at support at See you next time.